we bought a boat. Thankfully, I have an amazing wife that was able to adapt to a very different lifestyle. I wanted to document this now so I don't forget the feeling. It's something I don't think I can really explain to someone who hasn't experienced it, but if nothing else, I hope that when my wife and I look back on this, we will remember. With very limited experience, we traveled over a thousand nautical miles, starting in Long Island, New York, with the help of a captain, and then on our own from the Chesapeake Bay all the way down to Florida. Through the world's largest shipping port, our first lock, Amazing sunsets, freak storms in the middle of the night on the North River, anchoring in some of the most pristine spots surrounded by nothing but nature, losing the horizon in some unbelievably beautiful cloudy days on the Albemarle Sound, Fog in the Pungo River, learning to dock our floating home in some pretty tight spots in Beaufort, North Carolina. Then riding out hurricanes. It was the most active hurricane season on record. Exploring amazing beaches at Shackelford Banks, lost drone rescue missions at Fort Macon, back deck showers at Wrightsville Beach, dodging logs in the Cape Fear River, flying drones in the Atlantic Ocean, Exploring Bird Island on the Little River. Surviving the rock pile at Myrtle Beach. Waiting for the tide while people run aground in South Carolina then taking advantage of three knot currents and the tiny Elliott cut just outside of Charleston. Then we had generator issues in Edisto Island. Quiet, right? Yeah, a little chilly. Why is it quiet? Generator broke. <laughs> that is our culprit right there. This guy. So this little piece fits in there, and when it's not there, it spews diesel, lets air in the line. Hopefully the part that he has fixed works, and then if we have to, if we really need a generator, uh, we'll stop and add a marina. 
if it's too cold or if we feel like we really need a hot shower or something like that. Tricky cuts and currents outside of Buford, South Carolina. Buford, Beaufort, Beaufort, Buford. Oh, it's really confusing when you go to both of them in a relatively short amount of time. Unsuccessful ocean showers off Hilton Head Island. Apparently shampoo doesn't really sud in salt water. <laughs> Yeah, it's not lathering and it's getting all over me. <laughs> Jesus. Dealing with a trash dinghy. So if you ever wonder what happens to all the trash on a boat when you are anchoring out all the time, this is it. Quadruple bagged. And we now have a trash dinghy. Waking up to dolphins breathing in quiet rivers off of St. Simon's Island. Learning to parallel park our floating home before weathering out some weather in Brunswick, Georgia. Then seeing an amazing shipwreck on the way out. Passing by the beautiful St. Augustine Christmas lights, then sneaking under the Bridge of Lions. All while dealing with broken dinghy hoist, clogged carburetors, and ripped pants. We really started to become a team on the boat. We had to rely on each other to get through it. Every day was its own adventure and we could barely stay awake past each sunset. We traded off time at the helm and in the galley and even worked on the generator together. Kimberly took over for a pretty rough ride past Cumberland Island while I worked below. The white pelicans, wild horses, and nature all around us each day was inspiring, rejuvenating, tiring, and addicting all at the same time. Each day brought its own sense of accomplishment. We were hooked. After adding some marriage savers, headsets, we tried another lock. And then one last windy dock with, of course, a manatee. The trip culminated at a deserted cruise ship port where we watched a rocket launch from our bow light up the very ship we had gotten engaged on seven years before. We are so grateful for my job and the remote work that allowed us to try this amazing adventure. We couldn't have done it without our good friends Larry and Sue. We learned so much from them. We raise our glass to you and can't wait for our paths to cross again. The support and encouragement from our family and friends is something we couldn't be more grateful for. I have no idea what will happen next, but I had an absolute blast and I can't wait to keep living and enjoying each minute of every day going forward. My first meal on the boat is uh, back to beans, back to beans and rice. That's how I can afford a boat, so gotta keep doing it. Uh, Keep doing it here. It's delicious though. Looks like I'm seeing something over there. Yeah.
There's no talking to you. What do you think, babe? Spots at our own marina at the uh, York River yacht landing. York River, York. Yeah. <laughs>